Ku Ti or Kwe Tiao Tai Kwe Te Khmer, is a noodle soup consisting of rice noodles with pork stock and toppings. Ku Ti is a dish of Chinese origin. A popular breakfast dish in Thailand, Cambodia and southern Vietnam, Ku Ti can be found at marketplace, PHSAR, stalls, roadside vendors, restaurants and in shophouses across the country, and is highly regarded for its clear and soothing broth and dazzling array of herbs, aromatics and other garnishes and condiments. Etymology The word Kwe Tiao derives from the Teochew Chinese word Guo Tiao Peng. I'm, Gu Tu Diao 5, and refers to cut noodles made from a long grain rice flour, as opposed to glutinous rice flour. This term also refers to the dish, a rice noodle soup with minced meat and various other toppings and seasonings. The term has cognates in Southeast Asia with Hu Tiu in Vietnamese, Kuei Tiao in Malaysia and Singapore, and Kuei Tiao Kuite in Thai being analogues. In Khmer, Khu Tiv is properly pronounced IPA, KUJTI, but is often elided to IPA, KTI, romanized as K. Tiu, Katiu, Kativ, etc., due to the sesquisyllabic nature of the Khmer language. Preparation Khu Tiv is prepared with partially dry thin squarish rice noodles cooked by quickly immersing the noodles in boiling water. The noodles are then strained, placed into a bowl, and moistened with nutty, caramelized garlic oil. After dressing with a sticky brown liquid made of oyster sauce, soy sauce and a pinch of sugar, the bowl is then filled with a clear broth made from pork bones, dried squid, and sugar, and seasoned with a bit of fish sauce. Then the meat toppings are added, which may include an assembly of different types of meat, such as pork loaf, minced pork, pork belly, duck, seafood or offal. Availability is the main factor in what toppings are used in Ku Tiv. Some versions can be quite humble and basic, using only some ground pork and perhaps some dried shrimp for protein, while others can be more time-consuming and extravagant. Lastly, when the dish is presented at the table, the diner will then add a number of garnishes and aromatics to customize the dish in accordance with his or her preferences. In Cambodia in Cambodia, Khu Tiv is still primarily a breakfast dish, and will typically be sold out by vendors before midday. As the pork broth is intended to be subtle rather than spicy, a plethora of optional herbs and other aromatics is always presented, allowing the diner to adjust the textures and flavors of the dish to his or her liking. In fact, in Cambodia it is precisely the use of garnishes and condiments that defines the main flavor profile of the dish. Garlic, limes and pepper are a common flavor trio in Cambodian cuisine, rather than the broth. The dish is served with garnishes that can include lettuce leaves, bean sprouts, fresh herbs, such as spring onions, scallions, sawtooth coriander and holy basil, crushed black kampot pepper, lime juice, and caramelized garlic oil. Many types of chili, fresh, dried, pickled, and chili sauce are also normally present at the table, to either add into the broth or to be used as a dipping sauce for the meat toppings, as well as soy sauce, fish sauce and sugar. Khu Tiv is also sometimes eaten with deep-fried breadsticks, similar to how the Cambodians would eat kanji, rice porridge. Moreover, Khu Tiv may be presented in one of two ways, with all the ingredients in the soup, or with the soup on the side. Both versions can have exactly the same ingredients but allow the diner to control the balance of flavors, spiciness and textures. When the dish is served this way, dry, as opposed to, wet, the dish takes on the appearance of a noodle salad. Finally, the Phnom Penh version of Khu Tiv is the most extravagant and features the most embellishments, owing to the city's historical wealth and importance. Khu Tiv Phnom Penh may contain some or all of the following toppings, sliced pork belly, ground pork, pig's blood jelly, chopped pork offal, such as intestine, heart, liver and lung, roast duck, Mekong river prawns, sliced fish cake and squid. Modern day versions of Khu Tiv featuring beef, chicken or seafood, rather than the original pork broth, have also evolved, but the plethora of garnishes that distinguish Khu Tiv remains the same. Vietnam Hu Tiu or Hu Tiu is eaten in Vietnam as a breakfast dish. It may be served either as a soup, Hu Tiu Nook, or as a salad, Hu Tiu Ko. Hu Tiu became popular in the 1960s in southern Vietnam, especially in Saigon. Popular varieties of Hu Tiu include 
Hutiu Nam Bang. Phnom Penh Kuti. Served on Hutiu Dai, thick, clear, chewy cellophane noodles made of tapioca. Hutiu Sate. Shacha Kuti. Based on a Teochew dish. Hutiu Mai Tho. Mai Tho Kuti. Served on prawns, octopus, cuttlefish, and snails on thin, white rice noodles. Hutiu Sadek. Sadek Kuti. Served on white rice noodles in southern Vietnamese cuisine. Pho is usually served with Hutiu Mai Tho like noodles called Bon Pho Tui instead of the wider Bon Pho Ko or Bon Pho Tui popular in northern cuisine. See also Thai cuisine Cuisine of Cambodia Rice noodles Kyo References Cambodia, Daily Life and Social Customs. Britannica Online Encyclopedia. RPT, in Cambodia. N. P. N. P. N. D. N. PAG. Encyclopedia Britannica Online. Web. 15 May 2010.